come back to lean on me where learning is easy and very exciting today we are going to talk about something very very important in mathematics and that is place value but first do you know how to count let's just say counting from one to ten um don't worry if you don't know well tag along with us if you know well still count with us all right so let's start from one two three four five six seven eight nine ten nice well done now imagine you're at the market and you're buying sweets let's say tom tom the seller will give you one tom tom and then we'll give you another tom tom and another until you have 10 tom tom that one is called counting in ones now when you count in ones it is very easy because it is just like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it is very easy because whatever you're counting is very very small but now imagine you have 100 bins to count do you know how long it will take you to count those bins it will take a very long time you'll go one two twenty thirty it will be a lot of time but do you know you can just easily count those bins the way you just counted one to ten so what you do is that you group them you group them into groups of 10 for example if i have 10 bins can we count 10 bins one two three four five six seven eight nine ten if i give you 10 bins that way we have counted the 10 bins here and then I give you another 10 bins. How many bins are those? 20. And then if I add another set of 10 bins, that is 30. So instead of counting 1, 2, 3, you instead count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 until you reach 100 let's take a look at another example how many fingers do you have like on both hands 10 right let us count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so you have ten fingers now imagine your friend also has ten fingers how many fingers are those those are 20 fingers now if you have another friend who has another ten fingers how many are those yes that is 30 so you're counting in tens instead of counting one two three you're counting them in tens so you have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Yes, so if you have 10 friends, you have 10 friends, those 10 friends have 100 fingers all together. Are we together? nice so now what happens if you have more than 100 um things to count 100 is a very big number right now let's imagine you have 1000 how will you count it ah it will be too much right but let us break it down so 1000 is basically like 100 tens 1000 is like 100 tens for example your sister gives you 100 naira and then your mother comes and gives you another 100 naira how many naira do you have 
200 naira nice now imagine um your friend gives you another 100 naira that is 300 naira so if you have 100 naira 10 of them if you have 10 100 naira do you know how much that would be 1000 yes 1000 naira so grouping things help you to count easily now if we group 100 naira 10 of them you'd have 1000 naira can we count from 100 to 1000 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 900 and 1000 nice so basically we have counted it in groups of hundreds okay yes so that is how you group things to make things very easy we have learned how to count in groups of ones where we say one two three up to ten and then we have learned to count in groups of ten where we said ten twenty thirty forty fifty sixty seventy eighty ninety 100 we have also learned to count in groups of a hundred and that is 100 200 naira 300 naira 400 500 600 700 800 900 and 1000 and you see you're a superstar and it is not very hard is it yes